Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am. And we're playing Madden 20, the San Francisco for the Jonas. And then this, and this yeah, as you can tell, it's morning and I'm low energy. No, you know what? You know what? <laughs> you guys don't know that Jonas is up. It is like 9.30 in the morning. I mean... I mean oh. I don't. Okay, hold on. Wait, don't, make it seem like I sleep till noon. For that. don't make it seem like I sleep till effing noon every day. No, I wasn't and trying was like, to. <laughs> and wait, let me let me finish. It's nine thirty on a Sunday. All right, there like, we go. all right, let's get it right. <laughs> He don't have to be here today. I he's not even supposed I'm to be not here even today. Supposed to be here today, <laughs> but he's here. Yeah, dude. I set my alarm for eight thirty. <laughs> it took me a while to get out. Eight thirty. I would have been up since. I, like, well, I know. I could have got up at 6. Yeah. But uh, I was like, okay, if I start the process at 8.30, maybe I'll legitimately get out of bed at 9. Right. So let's just be real. Uh, I started working night shift, and it has definitely put a strain on, on the videos a little bit. Um, we got to find new time. time. Yeah, yeah. we just got to find new times that work for both of us that we can actually record. Uh, it looks like 9.30 on a Sunday is, is one of those times. Oh, boy. If, if we <laughs> Honestly, you, we can finish these videos. You can go take a nap. I'll stroke your back. <laughs> what? <laughs> rub my back while uh, while I try to sleep. You're like, it's okay. It's okay. You did good this morning. It works on babies, puppies, and most women I've ever met. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind being up. You know what I mean? I like getting things done. We've been. Uh, we used to record in the afternoon, and we we even when you weren't working nights, we started recording earlier and earlier yeah which uh, you know I, I like the the early recording get it out of the way yeah 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 because we, we used to sit here for like six hours on sunday yes. and record like 10 episodes yeah and it would be like nine we'd start at like two and be done yes. at like nine or something it'd be like ridiculous so just just as a word of uh, warning and to update everybody there there may be some streakiness in the videos until we uh, Hammer out. Yeah, like we're, we're definitely trying not to have that happen, but I'm not not saying that won't happen. I mean, happen. we've been uber consistent with more videos than those channels for two years. If we have like a couple weeks where we are streaky, yeah. if they penalize us for that. Then who's gonna penalize us if they leave us because we're not consistent Don't enough? Deliver an ultimatum to our fans. No, I'm just saying it's gonna make me sad. If you five people don't like the fact that we have Lives. to work for a living then <laughs> <laughs> like unsubscribe from these jerks yeah they gotta work oh my god <laughs> how dare they have real jobs i agree honestly I'm oh just, no i feel that feels i'm same. just as outraged as you that we ha that me and jonas have to have real jobs i don't understand it yeah we need to get to like where we this is our job I, I would put out a bunch i would do i'd be happy there you go to get up at 9 a.m and record there you I'd go be happy to do there that. you go in fact instead of an ultimatum i'm going to deliver them a uh the option an option <laughs> you can choose to give us unlimited amounts of money and wow. we'll make all the videos dude cool, if you, you like us that much yeah, yeah. We'll, you know what we'll put out five videos a day if you give us unlimited amounts of money i could make that happen i could one well, thousand because every, every day we could record five videos and we'd be good <laughs> not, not five videos a day no 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 that's only two and a half hours I'm aware, but I mean, I would just spend like a whole day just bang out like 50 vids. Oh, you are the let's let's do as much as we possibly can, yeah. and then have as much downtime as possible. Yeah, let's have a day off. <laughs> we gotta work until we get a, a day off, and then imagine if we want to go on vacation or something. With yeah, a, with dude. our unlimited amounts of money. Yeah, that's the problem, though. Yeah, it's like the willingness and the ability to make more videos is there, but yeah. the the, the the fiduciary yeah dude you know expenses are not i like making videos they're fun like i enjoy <laughs> doing it it's a matter of uh time so have you ever worked night shift uh the closest i did was when i worked at blockbuster i, I would work till like 1 a.m sometimes no. not like overnights no yeah that's that's kind of like late second though yeah yeah it, yeah. it was i'd go in at like four and work till midnight or one yeah yeah John, I've worked night shift for the majority of my life. I know. I was surprised you kept that day job as long as you did. 
man. I was just trying to be loyal, make sure everything was good, and everybody, you know, you build relationships with people, and then you realize that you hate being awake when the sun is out. And hate everyone. Oh, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> another thing. <laughs> hate having to deal with people while you work. Terrible thing. <laughs> It's not that I hate people, Jonas. No, I don't think you hate Okay, them. yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily want that to be the narrative. With people. <laughs> it's not that I hate interactions with people. See, we, we've talked about this before. It's not that I do not like people. It's not that I don't like interacting with people. Yeah. It's just that I would prefer not to if I could, if yeah. I did not have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Because, like, oh, no, because I've, I've stated this before. Like, if we get you out of the house in a social situation, you were like GD social butterfly out there. You yeah. were like working the crowd. You're like talking to everybody. Like, to, yeah. To me, this is like the difference between a juice and water. All right. <laughs> we're the juice boys. <laughs> <laughs> we them juice boys, right? <laughs> Jesus. But as soon as I get some water in the refrigerator, I'm going to cut through that water, you know? I'm oh, gonna, I got I'm going to drink. I'm like, I got water. I'm just going to drink so, gallons okay. and gallons of water. So I have a question. Okay. What's that? So I know you drink like gallons of water, Yes, right? I prefer water yeah. to, to the juice. Why don't you just take a jug and keep filling it up with water when you don't have any instead of putting juice packets in and it? And drink water from the spigot like a peasant? Like, I mean, that's <laughs> what do what, you think that's, I that's am? That's what your juice is, bro, but with flavor in it. I, I well, okay. See now, when you put it like that, <laughs> I don't ever want to drink juice again. <laughs> All right, see, I don't like it when you attack me with logic. You, you make me feel dumb, and I don't appreciate that. All right, that is very true. So we do use the water from the spigot, and then we add uh, juice powder. Maybe that has something to do with why I it prefer covers water. Up the the the, fu- the water like, taste. It's like you can like accentuate the tr- the garbage with goodness <sighs> rather than drinking purified Minnetonka water. See, and you know what? Strangely, you've averted me more to juice now. <laughs> oh, gee, that one. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize it came from the peasant trough. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start bringing home gallons of water and putting juice packets in them? <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. I still just prefer water. And, and it's weird. I don't know. I, I 100% agree. Hey, I don't know. That, I don't that is, that is weird. I, just, I mean, I was like, if you like water that much, why don't you just drink some yeah, water? Yeah, but I don't, I don't hate anybody, man. I, I mean, I, I, people who I can't stand are people who are just, like, completely socially inept. You can't stand people who are socially inept because it's don't. their fault. <laughs> I don't care. I don't have patience for they, it. They just wake up. They're like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be socially inept. <laughs> it bothers me. Or they just can't function as a person. Yeah, yeah man. Or like, what happens in real life. Oh, people. my God. Or like those people who, I don't know, man. I love getting it's, sacked a billion times because I can't even throw the ball. Anyway. It's it's hard. Just like social, social ineptitude, it's such a broad range too yeah dude it is it's real like some people just cannot yeah like it's just like it's painful to watch someone who can't function in a social setting try that, to function and in that's social. what it is it's like it's cringe dude yeah and it's not like and it's sad because they, they can't help it it's not like oh my god dude they're like hey let's just it's, let's, let's do it uh it's just watching them fumble is like the most awkward because like, I guess maybe because I don't have problem doing that so like I'm just like it's so natural to me that like watching someone stumble that bad just makes me ache on the inside I'm just like oh yeah and it, it's not even to the point where like they're just outwardly try- trying to achieve that but just not knowing when to shut the hell up too is a big problem yeah. with a lot of people just know when to stop talking you yeah. should just it, yeah. It's better to, what was the statement that you said? It's better to uh, remain a fool or stay silent and oh. be thought a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's very true. But yeah, like there's those people that, <coughs> there are <clears throat> some people that are like so socially awkward, like, it's like you can't even like just ask them like a yes or no question because they they still get, they like just start like talking and you're like, Literally, you could have said yes or no, and you're just like going on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. Is the answer yes? Or no? That's one end. Of, that's one end of the spectrum. <laughs> I'm like, that's definitely one end. You of just the talked spectrum. for five minutes. I was like, "Do you like rice?" <laughs> <laughs> 
and I was like, "What is happening uh, right now?" You know, what? and if you're if you're suffering from that at home, um, I don't hate you. Oh wow, you just you <laughs> just everybody else. <laughs> yeah, dude. It uh, and I don't even know how you fix something like that. Uh, I don't know, man. I you guess go to, like, a, therapy for that. Yeah, immersion therapy. Yeah, like, like here, you're in a group. Don't be awkward. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly. How yeah. else are you gonna get there? I don't know, man. It's like I, uh, oh, yeah, man. I just don't. And I, and like it's, you know, and it's, it's one of those things that like, if you don't have the problem, it's just hard for you to fathom how it's such a problem. Yeah, I mean, well, I've definitely had the issue before, where I was like socially inept. Did that depend on the group of people you were with, or just like the time of your time in your life you were at? Wow, that is a very valid question. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would guess this. I would have to say yes. It is contingent on the group of people. Gotcha. Like, uh, <laughs> like it's like how comfortable you are with them, or the type of people they are, or like what their role funny, is in life, or what. Funny enough, Jonas, when I get into uh, a group of Caucasian individuals, I find myself to be more comfortable. <laughs> okay. And I believe it is tied to the level of blackness that I have to portray. <laughs> <laughs> There's can levels you, to this ish, can, man. Can you, can you explain this? Levels bit? of blackness. Well, All right. No, like, what, what you mean by that statement? You feel more comfortable around Caucasians because you have to have levels of blackness. I'm not. You know, because of the levels of blackness that I have to portray. Oh, like depending the different types of black yes. people you were around. Yes. Like. Oh, sim- okay. I, I get. I kind of get what you're saying. Yeah. Like idea. simply saying "yo" in a room full of uh, white people is going to be like, "Oh, he's black." <laughs> <laughs> If I say yo in a room full of them, like that's the standard. That's that's par. Well, oh, okay, <laughs> and I then I have to, and then it's almost like a competition to see who can, who's who's the, the blacker, who's of, blackest, yeah, who's is the that, blacker of the blacks, dude. Is that, is that how it goes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, mean, I, I I I I I have to take your word for this. I don't not believe you. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Let me teach you about my people. <laughs> no, no. Um, I, there is a certain degree of uh, what, what's the term I'm looking for here? Is it not adversary? It's healthy adversarialism. It's like, like you said, like you and that dude compa- work who was an African would like really like go at each other hard with insults. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a competitive nature. Just <laughs> in inha- your culture? Inherent. I'm, I'm dead ass serious. There is. Um, I mean, it translates to, to the music. Um, Hip hop and R&B is always about how well you can do this to a girl or how much of this you have versus another person okay i got it. oh like um uh like uh like in the kanye song he said i spent 400 dollars 400 bucks on this just to say you ain't up on this there you go right it's just like flexing and, and you've never heard uh conway twitty talk like that <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, just for comparison value. Yeah, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Figure Kanye's the Conway. Kanye's the Conway. Kanye, Conway. Conway. Yeah, I, I love yeah. the wordplay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you just shared a moment there. Yeah, dude, I got but it. But yeah. it's healthy. It's healthy antagonism and uh, d- what do you call that? Competitiveness. Okay. So if you're like. It can definitely go to a different level. So it depends, it, like. If you're, but you're saying like you could be in a room with two different complete, like say all the people in the room are black and they're two completely different rooms. You could, there could be two completely different like levels that you need to act. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. Okay. But I kind of feel like honestly, Jonas, that if you were vice versa, if it were you in a, in a room, in a room full of your people. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean that to be offensive. <laughs> Your people. He gave me a look there. No, I, you know, your I, eye twitched. I, my eye twitched, yes. <laughs> Versus you in a room full of all black people. I, I think that, but it, it's weird because I know you would be cool in a room because I've seen you like in a room full of black people before. <laughs> yeah. In a real sketchy room full of. <laughs> Where was that? Uh, at the party. Oh yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> <laughs> we can kick 
Yeah, I mean, I could. I'm cool anyway. Yeah, like this, this, this muff. Her play spades better than I do. I don't even know how to play spades. And see, that's a problem. If I go to, a, I, I have no problem telling you I can't play spades. <laughs> So. But, but if I was in East Cleveland and I and I was like, yeah, I don't play spades. I'm going to get clowned. They'd be like, excuse me? They're going to be like, oh, I see you got a wound there. Let me attack that. <laughs> and you know what? It's fair. I expect that. Okay. <laughs> if I knew how to play spades and somebody came along and said they didn't know how to play spades, I would so 100%. It's like you take their weaknesses and stab. That's what we do. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. It's not malicious in nature. I, and I honestly, I love it, yeah. <laughs> even when it comes on me. Like I, I don't mind you it when people appreciate it. Regardless. Exactly, I like it if somebody can get a good snap on me, man. Just, just flame me, dude. Just <laughs> put the freaking chop hand out there because, roast but then me. they fully know that you're looking for a thing to come back at them and chop. A hundred percent, man. That's how you keep your keep your guard up. Yeah, you keep your claws sharp, man. I got you. So yeah, oh yeah, but that party that was interesting. <laughs> we're not talking about that party. But, so, we're not segueing to that party. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. But I see what you mean because yeah. And I, you know what's funny about that is like I didn't even think that. Like that wasn't even my thought process of like I was just like oh I'm at this party hanging out. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I was just like hey what's up? <laughs> like I think I attack like all situations the same. And I'm like yeah. I feel like I can navigate them well enough no matter who the people are that like I'll be all right. I, Hmm. Wow. Um. Uh, I mean, now so, what I'm talking about. All right, all right, Joe, all right, Joe. All right, Joe. I'm gonna tell you, make a hot take. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm going right. to make. We a, don't have long, so I'm can going to make a hot take. Is that that is one of the bases to what what would be called white privilege? Right there is that the fact that your cultural baseline is the cultural baseline for all of America. Whereas you're comfortable in that situation of being in a room full of a bunch of guys without your race who are talking or acting in a way that might not be indicative of the way that your culture acts. Right. You might be cool with it. Plenty of people are not. Some people are uncomfortable, different levels of uncomfortable. Are you talking about white people being in that situation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whereas if a... If a black person is interacting with a group of white people, they feel the need to conform, right? Because it is the sweat. It is more of the that status quo. Yes, that makes sense. I see that. I do see that. It's the. It's like it's the privilege of not having to worry about yeah. what you're acting like. Yeah. But I, <laughs> right. Because it's just it's going to be accepted. Well, I mean, if I walked in that place and I started talking about, like, Conway, Twitty, and the Brady Bunch, everyone would be like, I was a weirdo. You know what I mean? They'd be like, who's this guy? I mean, come on. I had to, like, a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, did I see that new Brady Bunch episode? I don't know. How many, how many white people are you just walking up to bringing up Conway, Titty, and Twitty, and the Brady Bunch? Conway, Titty. I feel you. I feel you. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I got you. All right, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. You already done that. Uh, that unlimited amounts of money thing will work. Yeah, yeah, that will work. We'll make, all the, we'll make any. We'll, what game do you want? If you give us unlimited money, tell us what game you want to see. Look at this episode we just gave you for free. Right. What if, what if you were paying us for it? <laughs> what? I would really be on. I know, right? For journalists. TNT Dynamite. Right, we are out. <laughs>